they can get his phone records and see like if where his phone was pinging from. The Department of Homeland Security is like, the way they do this is so sophisticated. Get the physical laptop and then they have to like go into the laptop and do a full forensic sweep to figure out like, but it's more than likely Josh was using the dark web. He was in an internet chat room and he was talking to someone and that's how he got a hold of this information. Well, I mean, I, I'm just guessing. It's not like I ever go on the dark web or anything. It's just, this is just what I've heard. Yeah, they spend years investigating these crimes and they make sure that they have enough evidence to know exactly who the person was. Ironically too, doing it this method actually gives them a higher conviction rate as opposed to what they usually do and just spin the wheel and see wherever it lands. If he's charged with two counts, does that mean it's only two pieces? No. Well, gee, I don't know. You you tell me they're genius. Can you send more than one picture at a time? I was watching NBC and they were saying that the average person that like gets charged has like over 6,000 like downloads. <laughs> 6,000? That ain't nothing. You should see my screenshot collection. And they told me that generally by the time like they get a search warrant for you to raid you, they've probably already been investigating you for like a year. And that was like crazy to me. I was like, are you serious? And they're like, yeah. Well, then why do you need to raid in a scavenger hunt when you already know what's there? The, the indictment is so specific. It's like the images were only there from May 14th through May 19th or something like that. And I kept thinking like, knowing Josh, he was par probably purging information knowing it's illegal. Yeah, because only an idiot keeps evidence on their computer. Uh, unless a court order tells you to. They like look at it, get rid of it. It goes on a hard drive. They get rid of the hard drive. Yeah, if they know what they're doing anyways. There was a woman in North Carolina that was arrested in April of 2019 for child abuse images and videos. And she was literally just sentenced like last week. So that was like two years. And Todd Chrisley is... He was arrested in August of 2019, and he still hasn't gone to trial because they've done so many delays. And if anyone watching just happens to assume that he was also arrested for the same crime, well, even better. He's generally like going to have an anti -so an antisocial personality, I believe. And Josh is like a sociopath. There's literally no cure for sociopaths. They're like a danger to society. For granted, much like Dr. Phil, I'm not a doctor either. No, rehab's not going to work for him. Dude, like, I already diagnosed him. Like, what part of my diagnosis don't you trust? I wish there was. I mean, could you imagine being in that body and not having any remorse, any idea, anything? Very funny. I'm not going to speculate on if he would commit suicide. That's a weird question. Yeah, because with everything else I just said about the man, that question is what's too far. I can't answer that. I'm only allowed one mental health speculation a day, and I reached it like five speculations ago. <laughs> I'm one in 100 people in America is a sociopath. They are not all terrible people. Okay, but he's a dangerous sociopath, so stop making it about you, okay? Why are you bitches always trying to steal my thunder? I love how when I say something, people are always like, but not all sociopaths are terrible. Was I, who was I talking about? I was talking about Josh. He can't be reformed. Okay, sure. I said sociopaths can't be reformed and that there's no cure or treatment for sociopaths, plural. But clearly I was only talking about Josh. And what's with his attitude? How about you just go fuck? I can say what I want because literally everything I'm saying on here is my opinion. I love how people say that like I'm saying things as fact. I'm literally just talking to you. Yeah, I just said in my opinion. I mean, it doesn't matter where in the stream I say this, so long as it's said. I don't have to say my opinion every single time. It's assumed that I'm what I'm talking about is... Yeah, like, it's not my fault Tati didn't assume. People are so ridiculous. I'm not being rude to anyone. I'm just talking. You think this is rude? Wait till I start trying to fight people through StreamYard. I don't even know who I saw that question from. I didn't say anybody's name. Oh, but I'll be sure to put the next asshole on blast. Those are questions people are thinking about. You can think certain questions, but 
I think it's bizarre when you put those on paper. You know what I mean? Like, I always think of it this way. Just because you have a question doesn't mean it, doesn't mean it needs to be asked. Just because you have a morbid thought doesn't need, mean it needs to be said. Well, I mean, there are some circumstances where I think it's allowed. Like, when you're suggesting someone killed their mother for the inheritance. I don't know. I think it's weird when people start asking about, like, who he's abusing and how he's abusing people and who the victims are. Yeah, this shit is, like, so weird, which is exactly why I read the In Touch article on my live stream. Oh, and I also had a viewer go to the Texas courthouse to obtain records stating just that. And so they stopped thinking about the kids as actual, like, little tiny humans that actually have life and that are, like, affected by all of this. So people are so upset about this because they no longer see the kids as humans. Sometimes I just can't with this shit. We just want to, I mean, the best that you can hope is that the kids are safe, right? That would be a more appropriate question, like, or saying something like, well, I hope the children are safe, or I hope the kids are okay. Yeah, that's me. Like, uh, I'm the queen of social etiquette. He is not safe around children. Because it's his safety around kids we need to be concerned about. I was able to access from the media. I don't know if just like regular public can be there, but most of the people that were at his arraignment were media. Yeah, but not just anyone can just say that they're media. I mean... There's not a video of the arraignment. It's actually illegal to record arraignments. But screenshots are not recordings. Immediately, because it came from Reddit, I was then somehow accused of stealing a meme and taking credit for it. So by me calling it a parody isn't me saying that this guy created it. It's literally saying it's a parody. It's obviously not a real book. It's a joke. They right there should tell you, I know I did it. Make the meme. I mean, I'm explaining the meme. Who the hell explains the meme? Went to Reddit this morning and saw Reddit oddly talking about a video I made, even though they falsely accuse me all the time of making shit up and stealing from them. And yet they're using my story that I said of Josh Duggar telling people that a shady ex con is the one who downloaded this material. And they're making memes out of that without giving me credit. But what bothers me is then when Reddit comes into my comments and gets nasty and accuses me of stealing things. I'm not stealing anything. I didn't make it. I never said I made it. Why are you guys so pressed? When I actually give you credit, you get mad at me and you say that I'm doxing you. Or if I share your usernames, you get angry and you say, you're doxing my username. Get my username off of your inst Instagram. So it's like, I can't win. And then as soon as I found out, I literally updated the description and I said it came from Reddit. Reddit, it's almost like no matter what you do, I will never leave you alone. Is you coming into my comments and harassing people, telling people I'm stealing things, telling people that I did this intentionally. It clearly was not intentional. It's a meme. And before you even say it, I don't even go to protests, let alone protest too much. I burned those bridges? No, I've never burned bridges because they never liked me to begin with. Yeah, I didn't burn those bridges. Th they burned those bridges. When I take down a bridge, it ain't burned. This shit's blown up with napalm. This is the same Reddit that consistently spreads vicious rumors that I'm a child abuser. So I'm like, you know, you guys have no problem slandering me to try to discredit me in that Reddit by calling me a child abuser, calling me a thief, calling me all these names. But I'm, I'm not trying to have drama on my Instagram. I just wanted to share the damn meme. I thought it was funny. And if this sounds familiar, it's because I blamed all this same shit on the Facebook group. Well, they're not around anymore. So now I have to settle for the subreddit. There are meme makers and there's way, there are ways for you to watermark your memes. Because not using the watermarks means you secretly wanted me to steal it. So if you want credit for something, make sure that you put your name on it. Otherwise, I have no way of knowing, to be honest. And I don't have time to like research where every single meme comes from. And I obviously didn't say that I created it. Why doesn't Reddit just learn to watermark their memes already? I mean, haven't they had enough meme wars with Instagram? Um, I was actually kick booted right after they started talking. People kept getting dropped from it. And that doesn't mean that they know who I am or I was doing anything wrong. Just everyone was being dropped, right? 
I haven't even had a chance to like think about what I was listening to because I took like 12 pages of notes. Just don't tell the court. It, it can be our little secret. I was listening so intently. Intently. I was trying to like pay attention. Trying. Trying to uh, listen. The Department of Homeland Security. So, okay. <sighs> Hard to sit through testimony of seasoned Homeland Security investigators and talk about what they were looking at when they found what they found. I was like disassociating. I don't know if you can do that. I was trying to like very much disassociate it. Yet these are the stories that I enjoy covering the most. Leaf forward. We don't even have leaves. Oh, well, if Amy wasn't considering an RO beforehand. Okay, sorry. Someone was, someone gave me a call to let me know all the details. Yeah, see, someone is my source, not Amy. To the extent of he's sending an email and then he's over here on one side of the partition and then two minutes later he's on this side of the partition. Because that's exactly how partitions work. Just like cubicles. They were even talking about how complex of a like how technologically savvy you have to be in over order to even understand how to do some of the things that he was doing. Like they were like, your average user would have no idea how to do half of the stuff that he was doing, which tells the court. And she said that she was like, which tells the court the lengths that you will take in order to conceal and cover up your crimes. Like he was specifically trying to withhold information from his wife. So everyone who ever hit an app or a text is not your average user. Wait, wait, not your average user. We've all pretty much hit apps or downloaded apps to hide apps or pictures or texts, right? I mean. Oh, someone said, wait, there's a GoFundMe for Anna. She doesn't. I feel like the last thing you want to do for Anna is do a GoFundMe. Like, this is not the public's responsibility to help Anna. Anna needs to figure this out by herself. Anna needs to stop relying on everyone else. Anna needs to take steps for Anna. It shouldn't be about the public bailing her out of this. This is not the public's responsibility, in my opinion, to pay for her. If I couldn't do a GoFundMe to take some people to court for talking shit about me on the internet, then she shouldn't get one. The only thing that happened to her is she lost everything and she has no means to support herself. She doesn't need one. Okay, now it's time for member shoutouts. I'd like to thank Sally Godfrey, Tiny Dancer, GGT, Tennessee Bell Mom, Faith Adams, Christ Conflict, Karen Collins, Paolo Dupree, Cancelled Sadfish, Lola W, Gam Game Times 3, Crescendo, Tina Coley, Captain T, Susan Elliott, Rena Rue, Sunny D, Sassy Nas, Sensibly Morbid, Jessica, American Dream 2.5, Grace Case, Tifa, Busy B, Haiti Joyless, Jamie Schaefer, Nat, Bear Bear, D Connor, Just Britain Company, Bo Roundtree, Kathy Ann, Danny Marie, Keeping Up with KP, Betty Boop Wolf, Allegedly, Sue M, D Marie, Claire S. Bear, Diane McCall, MB, Sam Shaw, D Jamie Couchard, Joby's Mom, Holly Anna from Kalamazoo, Annette Carlson, Lola Pepper, Ellie R. Illusion, Sally Georgia Peach, Police Wife Life, Angel Cake, Nana Hawk, JCM, Kimberly Roddy Mom, Y'all Look What the Cat Dragged In, Nancy P., Stina Marie, J., Dottie Morgan, Atticus Finch, Absent 12, Plays and Rain, Sh Sherry Landscaping, Trisha Biggs, Chris Sal, Sky Vision, Karma Kid 101, Sleepy Superhero, Shazzy, Camilla, Leah, Jeanette Stevens, Little Red Jail, Gentry Art, Changing Cupcake, Pink Flamingo, Jen Gerard, Poodle Tina Colery, and Yoohoo Shushu. Thank you very much for subscribing, and thank you everyone for watching.